First Coast's most accurate forecast from the First Coast News Weather Team, certified by Weather Rate, sponsored by AC Designs. Hey there, let's uh, start off with a look at the tropics. And I know it's pretty cool out there, and you're thinking, uh, are we done with this? Well, actually, that high pressure in this cool air is going to act like a block. So even if these areas, which now are given a low chance of development, do decide they want to become a named storm system, uh, you still have this high pressure, which is going to keep everything towards the south. And I'm not terribly concerned about anything out here coming out into our direction. Just because of that, basically think of this as an offensive line. And Florida is the quarterback here. That is going to keep that blitz from coming up into our neck of the woods. So no concern here on the first coast over the next seven days. We do have an onshore breeze, so a bit of a nor'easter setting up Saturday and Sunday over towards Monday, increasing clouds even through the second half of the uh, week. And so do anticipate that if you're going to be heading out to the air show with temperatures gradually getting back up into the 80s as we go ahead into next week. For now, though, here on our Thursday, it is 68. We had those chilly conditions this morning as we dipped down to the low 50s, the high 40s across a good portion of our area with those sunny and breezy conditions dominating. If you do want to get out, maybe not have a nice little uh, bonfire here today. Rain chances are going to be on the low side with uh, yeah, pretty nice conditions, especially uh, under that full hunter's moon here on the first coast. Get to be able to see that actually looking pretty nice here as we go ahead through our day on Friday too. getting up to 71 degrees. If you're going to be heading out to the Jacksonville Zoo Spooktacular, that's going on even heading into the weekend too with those winds starting to pick up out of the northeast at about 15, gusting up to about 20 to 25 miles per hour. That's also important to note if you plan on doing a little boating or anything like that. We do have some uh, rough surf starting to pick up offshore and also due to the king tide and that onshore breeze, we are going to continue to see that threat of the tidal flooding even heading in throughout the weekend. All right, so taking a look at our a look ahead here. High pressure is going to continue to dominate. That's going to keep things relatively drier, but that onshore breeze heading throughout the week, and as I mentioned, is going to be kicking up those winds along our coast. But in general, it's just going to be those increasing clouds. Humidity even pick up threading through the weekend uh, with temperatures still staying into the mid 70s. For now, it's sunny. Temperatures into the 60s. Get a sweater and enjoy your day. Thanks for that.